<laughs> Hi, I'm Laura Herman Langford from Intermountain Healthcare, and I am visiting with Stan Huff and Russ Leftwich this afternoon about HL7. Would you both introduce yourself, please? Hi, I'm Stan Huff. I'm uh, Chief Medical Informatics Officer at Intermountain and also the, the Chair of the Board of the Healthcare Services Platform Consortium and very active in HL7 and uh, a co-chair of the S uh, Clinical Information Modeling Workgroup within HL7. Yes. I'm Russ Leftwich. I'm a Senior Clinical Advisor for Interoperability for InterSystems. Uh, I'm also active in HL7 as a member of the board and co-chair of the Learning Health Systems Work Group, group and the uh, Clinical Interoperability Council. Great, well welcome. So can you tell me a little bit about HL7 and why should clinicians care? So HL7 is a, is a volunteer open consensus standards development organization and their goal is to make data interoperable, make data available everywhere, uh, the right data to the right person at the right time so that we can provide higher quality, lower cost healthcare. And uh, one of the, I think, most exciting things that we've had going on in HL7 in, in recent times is the uh, FIRE standard. FIRE stands for Fast Healthcare Interoperability Resources. And it's a, an open API that allows you to standardize how you access and store clinical data around patients. And so we're excited about that. So FIRE was created um, five years ago um, or proposed in answer to the question that was asked of a HL7 task force what if we created a new standard from scratch, what would it look like? And FIRE was created uh, with the technology that's the basis of, of other uh, businesses that have been transformed by their ability to access data uh, across different uh, systems on the internet. Uh, social media, e-commerce, uh, travel websites, uh, and FIRE is that same technology applied to healthcare. So why should clinicians attend the Partners in Interoperability meeting? So the, the Partners in Interoperability meeting is, is being held on March 21st and 22nd in, uh, hosted by Georgia Tech in Atlanta. And a couple of things that I think are important, uh, one, we want clinicians to understand more about FIRE and why, are it, why it's important to them. And the, the really kind of summary statement would be because it can help them get data that they need and, and provide better care because of the use of that standard. We want clinicians to be involved because for that to work, uh, we need support from clinicians and vendors and software developers and in the end, it's clinicians who will create the, the, the desire and motivation for people to adopt FIRE and, and, and to have it succeed. I think the other thing, the other reason uh, that we want clinicians there is that a, an important theme that we have is not just about the technical aspects of moving information, but getting clinicians across different specialties to agree and know and use the same standards so that we don't have one standard for pediatricians that's a different standard from adult medicine, different from surgery. And we certainly want the nurses and the physicians to both talk in the same way. And so we want to start and, and get people engaged in talking about standardizing the kind of data that we need across all of medicine rather than just in some small pocket. Russ? And it, it's also an opportunity for clinicians to learn what clinicians and other organizations are already doing with FIRE uh, in their organization, in production, uh, and finding value even in an early uh, version of FIRE uh, because it, it allows them to do things with the data in their systems that they couldn't do before. Great. Can you give us just a high-level taste of what the topics that will be covered at the meeting? So 
it will be the things that we've been talking about. We'll, we'll be talking, uh, telling them about fire, talking about uh, ways that people have already been using fire, just to mention uh, very interesting things going on at Duke University. Uh, Ken Kawamoto at the University of Utah is doing some great work. Uh, we can talk about that. We've done some things at Intermountain Healthcare that we we can share with people. Uh, and and then we'll be talking about the need to standardize data across all of medicine as opposed to just within some small segment. Anything yeah. you'd like to add? Well, I think we want to get them as excited about fire as many of us are uh, because it it has provided so much value uh, and the F in uh, fire is for fast. It's been um, fast for people to learn, uh, fast for people to actually implement in their organizations and fast to see uh, produce value from, from using fire applications. Great, is there anything else you'd like to share that you think potential attendees may get out of the meetings? Well, it's always a great opportunity to share ideas and information, to network, I, I guess that's the kind of buzzword, uh, to network with other people who are involved in standards, to know and understand, create new relationships. It's, it's been my, I, I guess, lesson or uh, perception that much of we, what we get done is because we know people and we trust people and through relationships. And so it's an opportunity to create some new relationships, get to know some new smart people, uh, share some ideas. Um, so that's another reason I think is that there would be a good reason to come. Great. Yeah, I, I think that's the absolute uh, top level value is to uh, be able to meet these other people that are uh, doing things with fire and, and to share uh, both what's been done and ideas for what next. Great. Well, thank you both for joining us today, and we hope to see everybody join us at the HL7 Partners in Interoperability meetings. Thank you. Thank you.